Okay, here's part two of our adventure, and this time we're going after the EGR. And I'll show you here, I just got the bolts free, and they're half inch. And there you can see it, right in the back of the manifold. Kind of a pain in the ass to get off, but here, it's loose now. So I'm taking it right off the back there. It's on two studs. Put it over here. And I'll get the gasket off. Can't really see much here. A little bit of build up, not bad. Yeah, I'm basically working blind here, so. Kind of doing a Helen Keller here. Google that if you don't know who that is. God, I hope you know who that is. Anyway. Trying to pull this off here. And there we go. Now we'll go look at this one and we'll look at a new one. Okay, so here's the old one. And there's the new one, side by side. Now this is a Delphi part, part number is uh, Right there, EG 1041. So, and that's the one that fits federal car. So, California car is a different number. Uh, I believe it's 100 and then 38, but 41 is the one you want. And there's the gasket, goes on, heat gasket. Uh, one thing we'll see here, you see we got some, got a little bit of uh, carbon in there. Take a peek in there. It isn't too bad, really. Of course, it wasn't really doing anything either. But uh, let me show you the big test here. We'll put a uh, vacuum gauge on these and show you the a nice little uh, off vehicle, even on vehicle test. So, be right back. Okay, now I've got a vacuum pump hooked up to this thing, and uh, there you see a little mighty vac here. What we're going to do is we're going to try to get some pressure on this. And you see that no pressure. It's not holding anything. Not a thing. Zero. It's just like sucking through a straw. Then there's also no motion on the diaphragm. Now, We'll set this up on the new one. Okay, now we've got it hooked up to the new one. We'll put some vacuum on it. And there you see it's holding the vacuum. We'll release some. And if we look here, when we pump it, Can actually see it move. That's how a properly functioning one should be. So just a quick little on car test. I mean if that thing ain't working you're done. It's not the valve isn't moving. It relies on vacuum for operation. So what we're gonna do next is install it back on the car. Okay one thing I want to mention here before I put it back on. These are half inch nuts here. Just standard nut to go on there. Not a lot of torque, probably maybe a couple of foot pounds. But the easiest way to get these things on and off, to get back around that, use an offset box end wrench. That's your best. It's a half inch, which should be this side. That's your best bet to get the thing on and off. So use an offset wrench, half inch size. See you in a bit. Okay, so we got the EGR back in. Everything's good. 
everything buttoned up and uh, let's take a look at the code scanner here. Let's see if we got anything showing up. Got the air runner in the whole 10 yards. Okay, what all that gibberish means is there's no codes to be installed.